again, everybody, and welcome to Inside Wildcat Country, the monthly look inside the University of New Hampshire Athletics. I'm your host, Mike Murphy. We have got a show for you today, including a look at one of the great student athletes here at UNH, Liz Guinea of the Nordic Skiing Team, a 4-0 student and a member of the U.S. Under-23 National Ski Team. Also, last year we learned about the Harrion family. Bill Harrion, the men's basketball coach who recently became the winningest coach in America East history, we'll learn about him and his brother, Tom Harrion, their life in basketball. But first and foremost, we know you want to know what it takes to put together a broadcast here on WBIN. Well, thanks to the PAC Network and UNH Wildcat Productions, we're going behind the scenes right now. This day and age, you can get a lot of equipment that is really compact and easy to travel with. We're coming in on the morning of the games and setting all the equipment up then. It is really a pretty compact production uh, where we don't have a television truck, we don't have to run cable to a truck. What we're doing is we're running all the cabling back to uh, usually the press area. When you come to games you may see, you know, there's all kinds of you know, monitors and computers set up and that's really what's running all these productions. We're actually sending the games to WBIN uh, over an internet connection. Uh, it's something that uh, only a few entities in the whole country are actually doing to send to live television. The technology and, and the ability to send games over uh, the public IP is, is something that is relatively new. Um, and I think we've done, you know, we're one of a few schools in the country that's really been able to uh, capture that um, and, and actually send television games over the public IP to national and regional providers. For the most part it's an emerging technology that is really enabling UNH to save money because they don't need the satellite truck to send that feed to WBIN. So uh, yeah, James I want to shoot like back this way or something or... KJ's main responsibility is that he's a technical producer of everything. He's, he's putting it all together. He's calling all the shots in game and even before the production even goes on the air. He's the one managing graphics, replay, switching cameras during the game, and he's, he's really the one doing all the technical aspects of it. Any one broadcast will have four to five students doing a, a number of different things. They do a majority of the camera work, if not all the camera work. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Lundholm Gymnasium for today's America East women's basketball game. They'll help shoot the intro. It's a really great experience for them in order to be involved with UNH in a way that it's a hands-on experience. Just going to the games, you don't realize what goes into putting a game on uh, with the media and with us and everything. I like the whole behind the scenes aspect. I was an athlete, you know, my whole life, so it's cool to see, even if I'm not playing, just to be part of the athletics department in that way. That's a source of, of pride for, for me is the, the student involvement. You know, we have, we have several students uh, that are, you know, do anything from you know, camera to replays to graphics to you know, producing something that may air during the game. So the broadcast in its entirety has a real UNH look, feel, and it's also an inclusion um, experience for the students, which, uh, you know, again, is a source of pride for us. Game day, uh, I'm sort of running around doing a bunch of different things, communicating with KJ, communicating with WBIN and Fox College Sports throughout the broadcast, and as well as the announcers and giving them cues and when they're on and when they're not. The BU Terriers and the UNH Wildcats and women's basketball action. When you turn on the game, it has a UNH look and feel to it, from graphics to the stories we tell to the talent that's involved. They're, they're the voice of the Wildcats. Rather than you know, hiring a, a third party to produce a game, you know, which we've done in the past with other providers, we decided to really take the, the process inside and create our own you know, production. Being able to do it affordably in the format that we're doing it definitely allows UNH fans to experience more games, which traditional television production companies that bring in a television truck, and they may bring in a 25-person staff, those are much more expensive. So I think that the fact that we're able to, we're able to do this affordably, use students, help, get, help them get some practical experience in the field, uh, I think all the things, it just makes it a win-win for all the parties involved. You know, we're, we're out in the forefront and we're happy to be there, but um, we're always looking for the next thing uh, and, and trying to find a way to you know, continue to build our brand without increasing costs. So this has been a great way for us to do that. And you know, the fact that we can you know, eliminate satellite trucks and satellite costs 
uh, and still deliver a good quality HD broadcast. Uh, as I said, was a game changer for us and it's really made all the difference in us going from producing one or two games uh, independently to producing you know, what we consider to be a substantial amount of, of television games in a network which, which we're happy to have here at UNH. The UNH Coaches Show has made its return to the Wildcat Sports Radio Network. Tune in Monday nights at 7 o'clock or witness head coach Dickie Milley live and in person at Buffalo Wild Wings in Newington as he breaks down a week of Wildcat hockey. For more information, visit unhwildcats.com.